there was a rocker there. But I took it out. It was almost it was almost done anyhow. So I cut it the rest of the way out. No no uh, body mount whatsoever. Last little piece of it right there. Transmission tunnel. Gonna need replaced. Gonna have to rebuild the bottom of this door post. New rocker, new rocker backer, all the way back. That's what I cut out this morning. It's all rusted out. I got to uh, fabricate the rocker backer that goes from there to there. Well, the rocker backer goes from there all the way up to that door post. Then the rocker panel, which is that, goes from the front door post to the back door post. Then I need to redo the panel there. The metal is completely gone. Gobbed full of stuffing and Bondo. That spray in foam insulation stuff. You can see it right there. Gotta get that crap out of there. This is the inner fender well, tire wheel well. And this is the outer quarter panel. So I need to cut this out. Replace the inner, which is the wheel well, because you can see right through it in many spots. And then redo the quarter. All the way back and around. Then I have to do the same thing on that corner. Uh, let's see. Not much to do there. Not much to do. Body work, no body work on the trunk. It's already primered up actually. I did that the other day, sanded it all down, primered it. Hinges are fine, a little creaky, but that's okay. A little oil took care of it. Uh, the back end is tubbed. We're gonna have to get some uh, sheet metal, tub that in, going from here over to here, and straight down on that frame rail, and then from the frame rail straight over to this one up and tubbed over there that's the spare tire hole but that had to be cut out to make space for the narrowed frame I patch that hole and the same thing on this side patching holes that you can see right through bottom quarter it's not that big of a deal. My brother went ahead and did this, but the inside is still tore up, but it'll work. Uh, need new rubber seals, new felt that goes along here at the base of the windows, new rubber up here. This felt all needs to be replaced. The window rolls up just fine. It seals right up in there just fine. Kind of. 
this uh, this is rubber that goes on this metal frame wraps around the metal frame and seals this quarter window to the side of this window when the door is closed and it's not even lining up because the body is so out of square from sitting here on the frame with no body mounts again on this floor the quarters completely done they butt up to the back door um, column here that needs completely cut out just like the other side right here it goes from all the way back there to the fender that is the inner support that keeps the floor flat and it welds right onto the front column for the door and this rocker is completely busted loose so all that needs redone the um, you can see light through that but it's fiberglassed on the firewall they fiberglassed it you can see light through it but there's no holes the floor is completely gone here these are some panels that popped right up um, this is the back needs redone last night I took that whole uh, door apart there to fix there's a hinge inside of here that this window rotates on when it goes up and down the hinge inside of there that this hooks to to, to, to pivot was frozen up on that side I had to take it completely apart and unfreeze the hinge now it rolls up and down just fine until it hits the spot where there's in the gear where there's a missing tooth and then you gotta help it up a little bit and then the tooth catches again and it keeps going the doors don't need much at all except for new rubber on both sides the uh, striker needs adjusted because the door is hard to close let's roll this window down I don't like it being up without it being completely supported when I slam the door shut go. Lines up real nice. But the, when the windows roll up, there's a gap between the back window and the front window like this. And there's a gap here on the rubber. There's no gap at the bottom. There's a big gap at the top. All this will be needed to uh, get up in there with the sandblaster and Blast out that rust, reseal it with some black silicone caulk. This is stainless steel trim that got painted over when whoever painted the car blue. But on the other door over there, I already removed all of this trim work, all of this trim along here and down here, and cleaned it all up. That's ready to re be replaced. These fenders don't line up well, but they will when, once the body is picked up, because right down here is the body mount that goes on the door post. Right down here is a body mount on this door post, and it'll lift the body up to be level. And right down here in the front of the fender well is another post, or a uh, body mount. And then there's a body mount under the hood on the firewall. Have the other 
headlight cam sitting in the trunk. Bumper's pretty rusty, but it's in good shape. It can be re-chromed. This is just the flashy. It has no support whatsoever. Now the bottom bumper, which covers this, they call it a rock guard. The bottom bumper goes across there. That's the actual bumper that mounts to the frame. That's missing. I saw online it's about $800. So I'll be doing something else. Um, I put those blocks, that's the body mount for the firewall. Put the blocks in there to try to line up these fenders with the doors. It worked pretty well, but then that kind of buckled the body a little bit because uh, the body mounts are completely gone all the way around. One there, one there and one under there and they're all completely gone and not resting on anything the body is literally just sitting on the frame not even square but sitting there tires are drag slicks my brother did that he did this rear end he narrowed the frame uh, four nine inch rear end the ladder bar is up there, narrowed the uh, axle so that the tires can fit inside the wheel wells. Pretty slick, looks good, shocks work really well, but the frame is sitting on the, the jack so there won't be any wobbling right now. But that's it. That's the 51 Crown Victoria. I've only done a little bit of work, but this is my little beginning diary of the work in progress. Oh, forgot to mention, there is no engine under the hood. It is sitting on the S10 frame, so I'm probably going to get a Crate 350 turnkey. Uh... I'm not interested in actually racing it, so I don't need all that horsepower. There's crate engines are 300 horsepower turnkey for $1,500. So I'll probably be doing that. Maybe get a transmission from a junkyard or something if I can't find one of them cheap enough. But that's it. 51 Crown, or not Crown Vic. 51 Victoria, two-door hardtop.